Hello everybody, this is Exploding Joyfish, and by hello everybody I usually mean hello me, because I know you forgot again, and you're back again to learn what you already know. So, we're going to start off with a first person template, we're going to be learning some interactions together. Uh, I'm going to name this project SCCDX, this is a project that I have to work on for someone else. It's a very secret secret, don't tell anyone. Uh, but yeah, we're just setting it up, just basic, uh, first person game, create project. And it's going to load up the template and we're going to rip out all the extra stuff. We're essentially going to get together, put our heads together, uh, get in our thinking chairs and think, think, think as we uh, just set up a basic interaction. It is a very basic thing that I can't believe no one has made a proper video about. It's either a video that's four hours long talking about how, you know, every kind of trace works on under the earth or a 10 second video that shows it working, but doesn't tell you how to make it. It drives me crazy. So we are here today to solve that issue. So for myself, mostly. So anyone else who appreciates this, I appreciate you for being here. So we're starting up this new project. We're just gonna get this over with so I can remember in the future and everything will be fine. So I'll see you when this thing's loaded up. All right, and here we are. The project is loaded up. There's one unbuilt object. Who cares? We're going to start from inside the first person character. We're just going to jump right into the first person character. It's going to be in the content, first person BP, yada, yada, yada. We're going to hop in here and we're going to first of all come down here to where it says spawn projectile. We're just going to grab all that because I don't want a gun in my game because as you can see right now, there's a gun, a very, very loud gun. So I'm going to delete that. Just all this. Bye bye. That's gonna be gone, and I don't need stick input. This is gonna be a PC game for me. Uh, keep that in if you want a uh, stick input for gamepad, but I don't, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And as well as VR controls, I'm not gonna be making this in VR, so I'm just leaving the mouse input, the jump, and the movement input. Done and done, that's zip, zap, zilch. We're gonna head over to the viewport, and we see we got all these pieces still left over from the, the gun, and that's gonna be all under the camera. So we're just gonna select all of that and delete that, so now all that we have, and also go into the construction trip, get rid of that, and then hit compile, check mark, and we jump in, and you can see we can now just walk around, you know, jump, walk around, no gun, nice and tidy. I'm gonna do something that I personally like to do. You guys don't have to do this. I'm gonna move this down one and move it in a little bit, so you're just kind of in the character and not just like behind his head. So now comes the interaction part. So let's start by just, I'm gonna use this, do this all in here. You can put these in whatever folders you want. I highly recommend separating your folders into like blueprints and uh, different kinds of blueprints. Like this is all relating to the player. Uh, but I'm just gonna, for now, toss this all in here because that's not important right now. I'm gonna go into blueprints tab and go to blueprint interface and I'm gonna call it BPI as for blueprint interface and call it interaction. And uh, immediately hop into that and name this first on, uh, on interact. I'm calling that on interact so and compile that and that's all we need to do here. This is the interaction page. I just define it as on interact and that's it. Save, X that out, we're done there. So the next step is to get the interaction working on the player. So how do we interact? Well, we need a key to press. So we're gonna go to action uh, input under the settings, project settings and go to action mappings, hit that drop down and add a new one. And I'm just going to call this interaction. And then press the keyboard key, E. So that's just the, the normal one for me. And call it interact on input events. Here is the input action interaction. Oof, tongue twister right there. And we're immediately going to start by making a line trace. This is the most simple version of interaction that you can do. A line trace by channel. Be careful, multi-line trace is very confusing. And now this is essentially going to draw a line from the start point to the end point and see if it hits anything. So to, for the start point, we want it to be our camera. So we're gonna get our head from right here and we're gonna get the world location off of this, get world location. And then we're gonna start off, just plug that right into the start because that's where it's gonna be, right at the head. So then to get where we want it to go, we're gonna need the forward vector. So forward vector of the camera. And to put this together, uh, this is just gonna get a flat value, like coordinates of the, the forward direction of the player. And we want that to be bigger than one 
like one number. So we're going to take drag off of the forward vector and multiply that by a float. Uh, I'm just going to put an arbitrary number here. It just depends on how long you want the interaction line to be. In fact, I'll jump, pop it up to 200. So this will be 200 units long from the head to where we want it to go. And we're going to add this to uh, vector plus vector. And we actually want this to be in the bottom. We'll plug this into the bottom one. Uh, and we want to add this to the world location. So let's get this a little uncramped here. See the wires going. We're getting the forward vector, multiplying it by 200 and adding it into the world location. And that is going to be our endpoint. So let's just test this out real quick. We'll, ha we'll have to set the debug type for duration and make sure it's like five seconds. So you'll be able to see your line trace in game. So if we hop in here and hit E, you can see there's our line. And you can actually see it hit something with that little red square. So that's our line trace functioning. So we now essentially have interactions set up. We hit E. It shoots out a line from our face to 200 units away from us, and it will uh, show a little square if it hits an object or an actor or anything like that. So now to get something to react to us. So we're going to just pop into here and just make a simple uh, actor to react to us. So let's just call it BP interactive uh, object. There we go, interactive object. There's just going to be a, a general parent kind of object. You would make child classes off of this. Uh, at least that's how I'm going to make it. Or you can make them individually. But I'm going to set this up as uh, like an object that you could change as much as you like. So I'm just going to add a static mesh. So this could change what it looks like. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to make it a cube. There's our big old cube. And compile that. And then here... Uh, this is a very important step now that we have both of these blueprints here. We got the first person character and the interactive object. We are going to go to their class settings. It's this big orange, uh, big button up here with the gear and the map and the blueprint. And over here on the right, there's interfaces. So we're going to add our interface interaction. So now we have on interact over here. And we can implement that event. So when this thing hears the interaction go off, uh, it will play some code. So right now we're just going to set this up to print string hello. That's all we want to do right now. Actually, let's just say I have been interacted with. Thanks, brother. And that's all we got. So, you know, that's just what our interaction is going to be right now. So this is essentially set up. Uh, it's just our big old cube waiting to be interacted with. And when it does get interacted with, it will print this onto the, onto the screen. So we head back to the player and we do the same thing. We go to the class settings. Add our interaction, which is here, BPI interaction. That's what we named it. And here's where I ran into something weird that uh, was a little different from our, my previous one. So you need a message. So usually when you dry off, let's actually see if it happens. Because sometimes when you restart uh, Unreal, it just works. So it just works. So let's see. Uh, on interact. See, there it is. It works perfectly fine now. It wasn't working a second ago. But, you know, Unreal really be like that. So I tried to compile just now and it needs an error. It's saying, hey, we need uh, a target and we can't target ourselves. Uh, fair point uh, message. So it's essentially saying, hey, you're sending a message to someone, but you didn't give us a stamp. It's like, you know, it's like if you uh, rather you didn't put an address on it. So you, you get this letter and you put the stamp on it and you didn't write where it's going to. And they're like, uh, sir, this doesn't have a name on it. So essentially we're going to give it a name. So we're going to split this struct pin, which gives us all this little, all this stuff. Don't be overwhelmed. We're just looking at these three blue ones, mainly this one in the middle. Out hit, hit actor. This is essentially saying, this is the actor we hit when you shot that line out your face, you know? So we're just going to drag that out and drag it straight up here. Hit compile and see it stops complaining. And now it will essentially, uh, when the line hits uh, this object, the hit object will try and fire a BP interaction. And because ours does, it will give a response. So if we start up and, oh, we actually have to, you know, pop our thing in the level. Let's just pop them right here. It's a big old cube right there. And we go up. I have an interacted with. Thanks, brother. And you just keep doing that to your heart's content. And it will keep doing that. Now, though, that is it. There you go. That's basic interaction for one object. Done and done. And so that is basic interaction. If you l appreciated this video, and uh, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. I know this is really frustrating for me if not for you guys this video is for me because i swear 
every day whenever I try, or not every day, but every time I try to start up my own project and I'm like, all right, let's set up interaction. I can't remember specifically these, which order these get in. Does this go into that and then go straight into that? Or does that go in where? And, and I just have to remember, it goes straight into start, forward and vectored, get added together, plus the multiplication, and go into end, and then interact goes straight on. And sometimes you will have an issue like I did. Uh, I didn't mention this before. I, I, well, I did mention this before. I had an issue. Sometimes this message won't appear. It will just say interface call. You can always turn off case sensitive and say uh, on interact. Hello, on interact. And sometimes this will show up interface call and not the message. Very fascinating. Now it's gone. Uh, on interact. There it is. Ta -da. Uh, just turn off case sensitive and it'll be there. You know, if that if that's never there, uh, sometimes you just need to turn case sensitive off. At least that's how it happened for me. So if this doesn't show up when you do exactly what I did here, just try turning off case sensitive. It should work anyways. I know because I tested it off camera. Uh, but yeah, if this helped you guys, uh, I'm glad. And I hope you guys have a great time making whatever games you are. And uh, I got to go uh, and pick up someone. So uh, you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.